Good morning, happy day 20 of Vlogmas. Um, my name's Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity. So um, Alice has left this morning already, so I'm sorry. I will get her to do one of the calendars again because I know you all love to see her little character opening them up, but yeah, you've got me today, sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do Beyond the Pink Door today first. So we're on number 20. Oh, this is number 20. I've been wondering what this one is. Some kind of card, maybe. Ah, <gasps> patches. Yes, look at those. They're cute. They'll be great for the summer. Aloha. Um, coconut tree. What is that called? A flamingo. And then a watermelon with sequins. Love that. Bit of bling. Very good. Right, let's see what the kind of machine is. So we're on number five, five days till Christmas. It's a little, I don't even know what that is, little picture frame. And the label today, <laughs> this is definitely me. <laughs> so all the things, oh my God, I can't get it sew all the things that is definitely me trying to sew all the things and i think that's definitely sums up what i've been trying to do at christmas um i am really starting to panic that i'm not going to get my christmas pajamas done but i'll get the kids one i'll try and get the kids ones done um not sure i'll be able to get the adult ones done just time's just i don't know if anyone else is finding this time is just running away from me so quickly um i've just got all the presents out this morning um that I need to wrap up and they haven't even got that many things to wrap up because um, you know as kids get older their presents get smaller um and then for my parents we're taking them out for Christmas dinner my mum and dad John's mum and dad we're paying for Christmas dinner as a as a gift um so they haven't even got anything to give them so and I haven't got a big family so yeah I just I feel sorry for those people that do have big families and have a lot of wrapping to do um I need to get ahead of it next year but anyway enough of me moaning um so last night as you'll know i didn't really get round to doing my celio um not my celio my pietra pants but i have got them here they are right next to the sewing machine the thread is on i am determined to get these done today um and it's tuesday which is the day where i don't have any children um husband's out till about six so as soon as i finish work today i'm going to do two solid hours of sewing and um yeah i should be able to get them underway I've also wanted to show you this that I made. So I had some scraps left over from the onesie that I made and um, I followed a tutorial. Well, it wasn't really a tutorial. It was just Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door talking about making hats out of fleece and how she does it. And she just said it was a rectangle that she sews together at the back, um, hems it and then cuts into the top and then ties it round and I did one for Alice she doesn't like it but I like it I think it's because it's not pink um I don't think it will fit on my head but yeah it fits on Alice's head but it was super quick to make so yeah and the reason why I made it was because she didn't have a hat and it was freezing cold so yeah this was a really little quick make so I need to try and get a picture of her in it if I can get her to wear it <laughs> um so yeah that was a thought i'd just let you know thanks andrea for the tips on how to make these um really 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 good and um i think i'll probably make a few more actually um i really fancy the ones with the ears that you talked about i know you ears i haven't got ears the ones that cover your ears um but yeah i'm sure there's loads of tutorials on youtube on how to do it um but yeah i just found it really simple okay right i'm gonna crack on now then um I'll keep you posted throughout the day. Take care. Hi, I've jumped back on because it's lunchtime and I have done a little bit of um, sorting out of Isabel's room, putting the clothes away, trying to get it straight. Um, and now I'm going to have something to eat. Um, but just before I do that, I wanted to show you some stuff that I got in the post because the postman came today. Um, so the first thing that I got was a delivery from Blooming Fabrics, which is a wonderful online fabric store that i'm a strike sewist for and i get gifted fabric from them um predominantly they, they sell um jersey and also cotton crafting cotton the last mate that i made was was some crafting cotton that i made my anthea blouse in and i love it 
I really want to make the empty address next. Um, adding it to the queue of things that I want to do. But yeah, I ordered my last bit of fabric a couple of weeks ago, actually, because um, obviously with postal and everything. And I went for something long Christmas theme this time. I went for um, a jersey to make Alice some li a little romper of some description. And the, um, the fabric that I've chosen is this splatter fabric, which I just thought was adorable. I've just ordered a meter of it because um, I'm just going to make her some dungarees and that's all I need. Um, and they do this in a white colourway as well. And it's actually the complementary fabric that goes with some um, Stranger Things fabric. And I'll put some pictures in to show you. Um, oh, it's, I tell you what, it's so soft, this fabric. I cannot tell you how soft it is. Really nice. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a really fun print for Alice and if she wears it to nursery and does painting you won't be able to tell so I thought that'd be a really nice little make for her um to make some little overalls and um I'll put the pattern that I'm thinking about doing it's a brindle and twig one I can't remember what it's called or anything like that but I'll put that in and um, to show you so yeah that is the fabric that I've got so I want to get that made up for Alice so I'll pop that in the wash next the really lovely thing that I found in here when I opened it was that this lovely zipper ruler so um blooming fabrics does specialize in a lot of bag making material so vinyl um pvc all the different types of stuff canvas all the stuff you need for bag making and just some gorgeous zips and zippers in like rainbow metal it's they're just stunning um and um check out blooming fabrics on facebook because a lot of the people that um sew and um buy fabrics and there make bags and they make some amazing bags but this is a zipper um pocket ruler so it's all for getting i think internal zippers in the right position on internal back and uh, um, internal pockets um, and blooming fabric shop do their own um ones of these and um i'm keen to try it actually i've seen people rave about it saying that um you know before they had this they used to dread doing an internal zipper but now they've got this this just makes it perfect for doing it so yeah that's really good and she sells these on her website oh, oh i've got the drops today she sells these seeds on the website i'm not sure how much they are but again oh my god again i'll put how much they are on the um on the video so yeah that's a lovely little gift that she's given me so thank you very much i feel like i need to use it now the next thing i got was a delivery from simply sewing magazine now i've never really shared the simply sewing magazines before but one of my lovely Instagram friends, who I have met in person, she knows who she is. Hi, Katie. Um, so she always goes on to me about how I should, she loves it when people go through the magazine because she always wants to know whether it's worth buying or not. Um, so I said the next time I've got some time and the next time it comes through, I would go through it. So yes, this is for you, Katie. So let's have a look what we've got. Oh. So, oh, stop and find. So this is this, this um, edition of the Simply Sewing magazine. Um, a nice pink front cover, and they always feature um, a dress on the front, and it's actually the Nomi dress. I sew over it, which is a really nice dress actually. It's got like a twist detail. And um, what else is it? it? Says six easy makes to update your home and keep you cozy. Um, plus oven glove set and jersey fashion so it seems to be focusing on 10 tips for sewing with jersey um, and let's have a little look at what the patterns are so the patterns are oh a toy pattern of a woodland deer that is really cute little reindeer we've got the Kiko jacket, which I really like it in the from Lotta Jan's daughter everyday patterns. So that is it. So it's a Kiko jacket, um, unlined jacket with pockets in three length variations with an optional belt. I really like this one in like the tweedy fabric. Hasn't actually got any line drawings on the back. Um, jacket A. I mean, it says jacket A, but there's no line drawings, unless there's some in the magazine. Um, 
takes 2.7 meters and the knee length one takes 3.4 meters and the ankle length robe takes four meters but that's really nice i like that one and then here is the nomi dress which is a really nice dress so an everyday maxi or an elegant party dress with this oh so comfy nomi dress i really like this one with this twist detail at the top so you can go for the twist detail at the neck or um the plain detail i mean that's definitely worth the the magazine subscription because um so over it patterns you know uh, are popular patterns so is it with jersey light to medium weight knits yeah lovely so that's good right so let's have a little look at that magazine so they always have a feature on the name on the free pattern which is the nomi dress which they've styled really nicely here and they've suggested different ways to style it and different um types of fabrics to use with it um very nice And then they've also got, this month it's all about sewing with stretch fabrics. So they've got some suggested um, patterns for sewing with stretch. And then they've also got tips and tricks to sewing with stretch fabric, which is really good. So if you haven't ever sewn with stretch fabric before and are thinking about it, then it's perfect magazine for that. And then the next, the next section is all about um, giving your home a makeover with like... Um, different bathroom access uh, bathroom bedroom accessories so cushions and things so you've got like a, a makeup bag here which is quilted you've got a toilet um uh hot water bottle cover some pouches which are quite cool and then some pillows with a plique on them and it will obviously talk you through how to do a plique And there's a pattern review on the Atelier Jupe Emma blouse. So this Emma blouse is the blouse that um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door is absolutely in love with. It's very similar to the Marnie um, by Tilly and the Buttons, I think. But yeah, it's got um, hacks that you can do. This has been reviewed by someone on Instagram. Um, and she talks about that process and gives a, re gives a review. And then there's also a code to get 20% off Atelier Jupe. And then there's always a section on drafting your own pattern and it's drafting your own skirt with box pleats here with a jacquard. So basically it will talk you, talk you through how to take your measurements, how to measure everything out and yeah. And then there's also a section on my sewing world which is all around, um, it's a feature on somebody um, that is in the sewing community and this, I've actually seen this lady Joanna Chamberlain, she is um she was at the dressmakers ball and this is the dress she wore at the dressmakers ball and she actually won. Um so this tells us all about her. So that'll be really interesting. She's so stylish and very vintage. I look forward to reading through that about her. Oh, and there's a really interesting art article here about being inclusive for people with disabilities. So that's really, really interesting. Yeah, so it's all talking about how they have to adapt the, adapt the patterns um, to their um, disability. Um, and what you've got here is simplicity. You've got some adaptive patterns, um, which is really interesting. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to read through that and understand a little bit more. Then it talks about the Kiko jacket and has some um, full length pictures of it here, which is nice to see. Yeah, I really like that. Um, and suggestions for fabrics to use. There's another pattern for self-drafting here. I'm not sure about this. It's like a tunic. It's not really up my street, really. Um, and then there's a section about sustainability, which is always interesting to read. Yeah, the, the articles in this magazine are actually really interesting. I find sometimes in, in especially Love Sewing magazine, that can be a bit repetitive, but this one's got some really interesting reads um, that I'll be interested in. Oh, and then it's got some really nice um, oven gloves and pot holders um, patterns for that to make coordinating sets. And then there's a section about upcycling jumpers by doing some hand embroidery. 
that's your thing and then i think that's it yeah that's it i mean overall i think this this month's magazine is pretty good i mean the fact that there's a couple of interesting articles in there which i'm really interested in reading um and the fact that you've got the naomi dress i think the naomi dress and this kiko jacket is really really nice um and definitely worth the um price of the magazine i mean i don't know how much this is to buy and oh, there we go it's 10.99 an issue now i do do it on subscription so it's cheaper than that um however i mean so over it that pattern you'd have you pay 10 pounds for it anyway so i think that this month's um simply sewing magazine it's a thumbs up from me i think you've got quite a lot in there um and interesting articles so yeah i hope you enjoyed that katie um if there's any tips on whether i mean probably would have been better if i'd read it first so i could give you a full review but i just wanted to give you a, on a glance what my thoughts are about the magazine um if you like that let me know and i might make it a regular feature where i am um, probably read through it first and then i'll give you a, a full review on it but yeah let me know what you think anyway that's it for me i'm going to go crack on with all the bits and bobs that i've got to do today see you in a bit